Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us, and for today's Monday Mystery Reveal, I've got a figure in here that in all honesty, I thought that I did have, but when I checked my collection, I was actually missing it. So, uh, what I do on this channel is I like to turn this into a bit of a bit of a guessing game. Rather than me just show you a new figure that I've brought, um, I will do exactly that. Here, this, I'm going to open up the box. It's not from Show Z, the box is just what it's in, uh, but I'm going to give you some clues along the way. Uh, again, to turn it into a bit of a fun, rather than me just saying, look, this is what I've got. So, first and foremost, I need to thank Andrew Rodwell, because that's where this came from. Um, and I did also have this lined up. I picked it up at TF Nation, but I had it lined up before I um, actually got there. So this figure, it's not a Generation 1 figure, but it's a Generation 1 mould. It's not a Japanese exclusive, so it's not an e-hobby. It is just a plain old simple Generation 2 figure. So in here, there's a Generation 2 figure that, I, again, I thought I had. Um, the original mould was used in 1984 five as a transformer so it wasn't a first wave it was like the the second wave the, as i said the 1985 now this came it, it's, a, it's a standalone figure but it's part of i suppose a subgroup that's that's quite popular at the moment um there's we've had quite a lot of new newer versions we've had a really good newer version of this particular figure actually but what i'm trying to say is the subgroup we've had lots of newer versions of these type of figures that they've they've made them all into deluxe size so everybody's really happy that we're getting some really decent um, I pretty much told you I'm a pretty much decent uh, mini bots at deluxe scale. So this guy has had a normal. Um, so yeah, so he came in eighty five. Um, I've done some videos on some Thesema versions of these, which are quite scarce. He had a version round about the classics uh, time toy line, and as I said, his new version came out under Evolution, which was brilliant. And funnily enough, the newest version they used that mold mold again to make another figure that's coming out very very soon. Uh, the figure and the character itself, it's actually quite quite popular considering it's it's not an obscure character, but he's not like a huge big name character, um, and that's due to the uh, the one particular episode in Generation One that the character, um, and because of this particular episode, they've spawned loads of versions and loads of figures, uh, basically in you know, and as I say, a gold colour, shall we say. Um, but this is not gold at all. This is far from it. This is a metallic version um, of a different. It's not nothing like his original colour either. And I think I've pretty much exhausted up as many clues as I think I can because I've pretty much given you gold and glue, giving you 1985, and his updated version was Evolution. And of course, they've used his mould to make ruckus of the newer ones. But this is the G2 version of Beachcomber and as I said didn't realize I didn't have him I was doing a little bit of a chat with Andy one night and um, yeah ended up getting that off him so really pleased to add that to the collection I will do a quick video on it as well again guys if you get it don't put the answer in the comments put the time that you got it or just put I've got it as well or whatever you want to put but don't put it's G2 Beachcomber because obviously that won't help but there you go thanks very much guys take care